If you'd like to learn how to make your own intro like this using Canva, then keep on watching. Most of the elements and effects that you see today are for pro users, so keep that in mind. First off, I picked my background. All I did was search pink background in the elements tab, and then I looked in the photos tab. Once you clicked your image, you want to right click on that and there is a choice at the bottom that says set image as background. That should fill up the entire screen. I forgot to mention this, but when you open up a new file on Canva, make sure you're opening a new video file. Second step is to add your channel name. This is the one that I use. It's under the text tab. I think it should be there for you. It's under the font combinations tab. I added a photo of a lady. You can add your own selfie, but I didn't want to. You see how it's behind the text? If you want it to be in front of the text, you open up the layers and drag it up so that it moves on top of it. To get rid of the background, there is a setting at the top that says background remover. You click that and it automatically scans your image, makes a clip art of it. Now for the fun part, all you have to do next is search up elements that best align with your channel. If you're a beauty channel, you can add some makeup. I added a camera, iced coffee, food, and travel for a daily lifestyle type channel. I also added these white accents to give it that doodle effect. I like the way it looks with the image. This is everything that I chose. After you choose all of the elements that you wanted and you're happy with how it looks, you want to go to the bottom and copy this frame so that you have two of them. Right now, all that we're going to work on is the first frame, so the first one next to the play button. You have your image in the front on top of everything so that none of the elements are covering it, and then you want to grab all of your elements and hide it behind your picture. We're hiding all of the elements because in the second slide, we want it to look like it is coming out of you, sort of like your personality and the content you create. Once you're done, it should look like this, switching between the first slide and the second slide. The first slide is empty, and the second slide you have your elements. In between the two frames, there is a transition option. You want to click that and click match and move, and this is how it looks. Using what you learn, you can add your little twist to it, and this is how mine came out. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed today's video, subscribe for more tutorials, and save this for later so that you don't forget. I also have ready-to-go intro templates for you to use below, so you can just grab it, edit your channel name, and everything is done for you. See you in my next video.